Chicago and the Terror of Truth by Achike Chude. Hello everyone, welcome back to Prospect, Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Far away across the seas and the oceans, across mountains and valleys, across countries and continents, a battle is taking place in the United States of America. In the land of the free and the brave, it is a battle being fought by two antagonistic forces from a foreign land over a crime that may or may not have been committed by a foreigner in violation of that country's democratic laws and the laws of international morality. Two very big, influential, rich, and powerful men who were once business partners, political associates, and allies are locked in a battle of width in the judiciary system of the United States in an attempt to arrival the matter of the mystery of one of them who is now the leader of a country with the largest concentration of black people in the world. Atiku Abubaka, the former vice president of Nigeria, says that the man he has dealt with in the past across different interests and issues is not who he says he is. He wants the American court to help unravel the mystery of the man who is now president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. This is simple enough, or maybe not. The Nigerian president, Bola Tinubu, has pleaded, he has begged, he has conjured, the, the, he has con cajoled the judge to let sleeping dogs lie because... The estimation of the past could destroy the present with a devastating impact on his life and person. In other words, the information hidden in a document in the Chicago State University must remain dead and buried to prevent, to prevent irreparable damage to the living. Surely, the court in Chicago has the capacity to save him from the Feasants of the past, but does it have the legal and the moral obligations to do so? What has Tinubu done or not done in the past to unleash this terror, fear of present retribution? What is the crime that can be committed that is beyond forgiveness and redemption? Perhaps none. Even the worst murderers in society who have tested securities, punitive measures, have sometimes experienced societal salvation and retrogation. Those who were not forgiven by the society and had to face execution still had the possibility of divine forgiveness on two conditions, acknowledgement and repentance. Judas is Carlos had that chance but he blew it. What does our president want? To eat his cake and have it? To approbate and reprobate? To hurt the horns and run with the heart? Does he want to keep the presidency without embracing the demands and burdens of the office? Only the president has. His lawyers know what is hidden in the labyrinth of the archives of Chicago State University. But surely he is right. Severe harm will be done to him should the court order that the right thing be done if the court so believes. People have posited, posited that it will be an explosion of the lies told and lead for decades as a person that he was not and is not. This unfolding, st unfolding story is a story that is beyond belief. 
If the egregious insinuations and rumors about what is or is not in the Chicago records are true, then it will be the stuff that good Hollywood movies are made of. It will become the story of how one man of the unknown origin bested over 220 million people and manipulated an entire nation through lies, falsehood, and impersonation. It is not imaginable that some people, including partisans and supporters, supposedly good people, are willing to accept and live the lie. This is how you know people who will refuse to transcend the boundaries and the stretchers of identity, prolivities because of parochial myopic. This is how you know people who are the root, who are root by passion rather than principle. By now, everyone must know that the magnificence is not about the need to protect privacy. Tinubu has made that known by his declaration that the secrets contained in the Chicago State University records will destroy him. Honorary paper will destroy a president. But some people's reality is that truth is sometimes a bastard that must be alienated and vanished while caving for the glorification of falsehood, certain brocks in the adoration of evil, and the angels must go into hiding when the truth is truding underfoot. Mischief is afoot, bad conduct is lifted on high, and good character is tarnished in the mud. It is that same people are not aware of the relentlessness and implicability of the truth. It is that they are not aware of its undeniable quality of long longevity and indestructibility. You can try to subvert it, change it, color it, but all to avail. Truth is truth, and that has no other defiling quality. So, guys, <laughs> and I don't hear the matter now. He no go verse do that because the skeletons, when he commits, he took plenty. Majority of Nigerians don't want Tinubu as a president. The U.S. should do the needful. Majority of Nigerians are saying Tinubu should go. These are some reactions from Nigerians, so consigning this news so guys what's your take on this kindly share your thoughts below the comment section and don't forget to give us a thumbs up thank you